Good morning everybody, welcome to the video. My name's Derek, also known as Tap Peddler. Um, it's early on a Sunday morning, it's pitch black outside. It is seven degrees, I mean, it's 6.40 in the morning and I'm off to the car boot sale. So I'm gonna take you with me um, and we'll see what we can get. It's gonna be pouring down with rain in a bit, so that'll be interesting to see what actually is gonna still be available. Boot sale is mainly inside, so hopefully it will still be decent. So, yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, that's me at the boot sale. Let's see what we can get today. Hi guys, that's me finished at the car boot sale. The rain here is absolutely terrible. It's absolutely bucketing down. I managed to pick up quite a bit today. Um, I've got a nice um, JVC video reel-to-reel -reel player. Um, obviously, it's probably going to be spares or repairs, but um, maybe not. It might work. Um, that's going to be the highlight of the day, I think. That's my favourite pickup. Um, but you'll see that in full when I get home I'm going to go through most of the items I picked up today um, and I'll be able to tell you what I paid for the items um, and what I hope to make on eBay when I sell the items so I'll see you when I get home Okay, so let's see what I picked up. So first off, I bought a couple of barometers. One is quite a basic one, and one of them is quite vintage looking. Um, this one is by Committee of London. Um, that one was two pound, I think that one was three pound. Um, and these can sell for about well, it depends on the the style, but from £15 upwards. Um, this one's going to be quite a cheap one, but I'd expect maybe £20-odd pounds for this one. Um, so they're worth looking out for. Picked up a bundle of PlayStation 4 games. Um, as you can see, they're all pretty... Um, they're all pretty um, rubbish games. Um, Formula One, FIFA's, that sort of thing. Five pound for the lot. And the reason I got these is because I've got a PlayStation 4 to list um, and I've got no games to put with it, but now I have. So I can do all of those games with the PlayStation that will help it sell. And I think that's probably worth the um, five pound investment. Picked up a Yamaha keyboard. Um, so this one is a Porter Sound PSS 390. Um, I'm not sure on the value of this particular one, but they usually go for about 40 pounds for this sort of size. It's not a full size one. 
Um, so that's what I'd hope to get. I do need to put a 12 volt, um, sorry, a nine volt um, power supply with it, um, which I will do. Um, so that's a little bit extra, I guess, but I usually, they usually cost about a pound or something like that. And I've got quite a few that I keep for this sort of thing. So um, assuming it works, I'll be looking at around, probably around 30 to 40 pound for that. Picked up this for one pound, which is a Casio graphing calculator. Um, this is an FX7000GA in the case as well. Um, probably not a great deal of value in it, but um, I don't know, maybe worth £15, something like that. Um, as I said, that was a pound. I saw this, and it's not Le Creuset, unfortunately, but it's still the burnt volcanic orange um, design, so it will still be popular. It's actually got Vogue brand on the bottom of it. I don't think that's any, you know, a well, well um, respected brand or anything. I don't know. There's a little bit of chip to the enamel on the side, but this was, well, I think it was eight pound and I got it for six. Um, and I'm guessing this will go for about 30 pound. Because I've sold, um, non the cruise um, cast iron pans for about that in the past um, next up i bought four of these vintage valve radios so this one which is quite a nice um, looking thing i'm guessing these are all going to be spares or repairs um, but this one's by gus gus 100 so there's that one, it's quite a quite a nice design to it. And this one, which is like a copper, um, this is a Cossor, made in England. Um, it's got, got like a copper metal thing with probably, probably Bakelite sides to it. And this one is a Kilo Cycles brand, General Electric. Um, that's a nice looking one as well. Um, you can see, these are all spares and repairs, but you can see the the wiring is very old. Um, there's no way this is gonna be safe to plug into the mains, because you can see the wiring um, basically just all degrades and that happens inside the wires. You can't plug this in. Um, I will have to put a notice on the listing, um, but it's a nice looking radio. And then there's this one, which is in like a, a suitcase type thing. Um, this is a Pi one. Um, I can't see any model numbers or anything like that, but that's quite a nice looking one as well. So it was £30 for those four radios, which I think was pretty good. Um, I usually sell those, usually sell those for like 40 to £50, something like that, in that sort of condition. I will clean them up a bit, but they're all going to be spares and repairs. Um, got this very nice salt lamp. Yeah, definitely salt, very salty. Um, retro, it's vintage, proper vintage one, wooden base. Um, I'm not sure on the value of that really. Maybe 30 to 40 pounds, maybe. Um, I've got this stereo system. This is a Sony mini disc system. So I've got the two speakers here. And the mini disc. 
This is a DHC MD373. Um, I didn't look this up, but um, it's got a combat disc on it and it's got a mini disc on it. Um, and I think it's got, yeah, it has actually got a radio built in as well. So it's a nice little system. If it works, I'm guessing at least £40 plus postage. Um, probably aim for more to be honest with you with that if it if it all functions if it doesn't work then probably about 20 pounds but either way i think it was 10 pounds it cost me so um either way i'm into profit so i'm happy with that um, picked up this um, vhs dvd combi <laughs> This is a Philips brand, it comes with the remote control, the skirt cables and all of that. Um, VHS recorder and DVD player. It doesn't record DVDs. Um, so it's just a player. Um, but that's no problem. This was five pound and I shall sell that for probably, probably 40 pound to 50 pound plus postage. So there's plenty of profit in that one as well. And this was quite a nice item. It comes in this big case. I'm going to open it up. It's got a JVC karaoke machine in it um, so it's a three disc karaoke machine it comes with the microphones the remote um, and the cables and obviously it's in that case as well and there's a load of karaoke um, CDs here um, and I think I'm probably looking at about £80 for this and that was £10 to buy so Quite pleased with that. It's like a professional, a professional thing. It fits in the case, and so that's quite good. Now the best pickup I got was this item here, which I'm very excited about. Um, I've got to test it, obviously. Um, it's very heavy. It's in this case. What I'll do, I'll just bring you down with the camera to show you. This is a very nice JVC um, KV350 um, video tape recorder. So this is a basically a video recorder on a reel-to-reel -reel tape system. Um, Obviously, it's unlikely to function. It will need to be sold as spares or repairs. You can see here, it's very, very worn. It's probably seized up inside. Um, I will try it on, try it, try to power it on, see what I can do with it. But it's likely to be spares or repairs. Um, but I think this is going to be a pretty high ticket item. Um, what I could do is I could plug it in and we could just have a quick preview to see if it does function. Okay, so we'll plug it in. Whoa! Okay, let me just turn it off for a second. Right, so that's where the take up reel will be. It looks promising. Okay, so I've looked this one up and um, there's none on there or sold recently on Terra Peak of that particular model. Um, but there is a similar model on Terra Peak, slightly different model, very, very similar, a video reel-to-reel -reel, um, recorder sold for an over £100, um, spares or repairs. So... I'm pretty sure this is going to be a decent amount of profits here. Um, it did only cost me £10. 
Um, so I'd be hoping for over £100 for this. Probably aim for even more. Might even might even put it on for £200. And then see what, um, see what offers come through. Um, I'll do a little bit more research on it. But um, yeah, that's the sort of thing I'd be looking at on that one. Okay, so thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you liked the pickups. Um, let me know what you think of um, any of the items you've seen me show you today. Um, There's only a small selection really, but the boot sale was smaller because it was raining. Um, so there's obviously a limited amount of stuff I could get. A lot of this stuff actually came from the same stall. I think I bought like five items from the same house clearance guy. Um, and all those um, valve radios came from the same person as part of a bundle. So yeah, there's probably only like three or four stalls I actually bought stuff from today. So if they weren't there, then it would have been a lot less. And I did actually buy a couple of other items. I bought some vintage uh, mirrors and some CRT TVs, um, some a couple of little radios and a few other little bits and pieces. Um, so yeah, there's, the boot sales were okay considering the weather. Um, so yeah. If you did enjoy the video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. So bye for now.